Hi, thank you for joining me. This is Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. Um, I've got the, the joy and the pleasure of being able to play with some new product that's going to come out in the Stampin' Up! catalogue. Uh, you'll be able to order from the 1st of June 2017. So as demonstrated, we get to be able to pre-order and to have a play with all the goodies. Um, so today I'm going to use one of the new in colours, which is Berry Burst, a gorgeous pinky ready colour. I think this is going to be my favourite um, new in colour. A pack of the Colour Theory Designer Series paper stack, which gives you lots of lovely um, ombre colours in, in four different colours. The Colourful Seasons bundle, so I've gone for the stamp set and the, the matching dies to go with it. Great for all year and um, for all seasons and occasions and just brilliant. <laughs> okay, so I've gone ahead and made some cards already and I just wanted to complete my um, set by using the berry burst. I've made one in dapper denim, one in crushed curry and one in old olive and these are bookmark cards so these pieces here can just simply slip out and they could be used as bookmarks and I'm going to show you how I made those today. Okay so I've already cut down my ombre paper and that's two inches and then I've just cut I think that's two and a quarter inches the the base uh, card stock and then we're going to do a bit of stamping on here first I think what I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment first so that I know where the flower is going to go around it I'm using the life is a beautiful thing stamp And then let's go in with some, let's see where we're going to put this. I think I'll put the branch below so it doesn't get chopped off. And then this has got matching blossoms and buds to go with it. So my tip for using this particular stamp set to match, because as you can see there's a few gaps, let me just try and zoom you in, there's a few gaps in the um, stamp, so that means that this one can sit on top. So my tip would be try and match up your buds to the branches first, and once you've done that then it's easier to figure out where the rest of the flowers sit in on the branch. Just take your time with it. Um, try and eyeball it a bit. I need to come down there and up there. See if this works. You go a little bit off, but not bad for trying to do it on video. <laughs> then what I've done is I've used the um, separate blossoms and stuck to stuck them down together on an acrylic block just to create a blossom pattern, so I don't have. To do them individually and I wanted to create a pattern Oops, made a bit of a boo-boo there I'll come back to that okay because I did that boo-boo I'm just going to take off the two other blossoms and see if I can just touch that one up a little bit. There, that will do. It's alright to have a bit of a nice effect on it. Just pretend it was supposed to be there. Okay, I'm going to stick this. These are double sided as well, so if you're wondering what on earth that is on the back, it's a, a crackle effect, so this would look great teamed up with those dies just going to stick that down so you're left with a border on the on each side on the left and the right of the uh, bookmark okay now I've already gone ahead and cut out my blossom shapes and then I'm just going to use the blossom shapes have got the um, little stamen inside so you can actually once you've stamped the blossoms you can actually put the matching stamen inside and it will get it's all number coded as well so which is great it helps to match up but because I've die cut these I'm not going to be too fussy as to where 
it goes and just want to center in all of my blossoms that just helps to give it a nice realistic effect now when you go to stick these down the blossoms you obviously don't want to stick the whole thing down so just place it first where you want them I'm going to stick this one. I like it coming just slightly off the card and then I can chop that off later. Now, with the other two, you want to do obviously glue half of it. So my tip would be hold the half that doesn't need gluing, turn it over. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Then go back and stick it down so you you can roughly remember what half you've done. Now this is the opposite, so just bear in mind that you want to glue the other side because it's going to be mirror image. So just remember which side you've glued and which side needs sticking. So once that's stuck down, it's enough to hold the bookmark in place onto your card and to look like a card. But it has that double action of being able to, to slip that out. And I'm just going to carefully tuck this back under. So the easiest thing to do is probably just slide it in at a diagonal. And then you can tuck it back in. So that completes my bookmark card set. It's nice to have um, double purpose to your cards. Oh, well, I just slipped that one out earlier. Oh, and that one. <laughs> so there you have it, your bookmark card. Thank you very much for watching. All these products are available from my shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk. Hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye.